everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done a sit down video for so long and the reason for that being is I've moved several times in a very short space of time. If I have a glare on my glasses, I do apologise. This won't be my final setup, I'm hoping. I can get it sorted and get some more videos out for you guys. Um, but in the meantime, you will have to <laughs> bear with me slightly. Today I wanted to do my October favourites. I've never done a favourites video before. I don't think I've ever done a favourites blog post. Um, but I wanted to just share some of the things that I've been loving in the month of October. Um, and some of the things that have helped, that have sort of stayed with me through my several movings. <laughs> the really awkward thing is Matt is next door. <laughs> I've never filmed with somebody else in the flat before like when I've been doing it with my family it's different because they understand it but this is going to take some getting used to so one of the things I have been loving is the Tresemme heat protect spray obviously you guys know my hair is completely overprocessed. it's been coloured and cut and not treated very well but since I had my hair cut for charity last year, I have tried to maintain the quality as much as I can. I haven't used heat on it, I haven't blow dried it or straightened it or curled it. But in the last couple of months, I've rediscovered my love for blow dry. Um, so one of the things I picked up was this. So it says it has up to 230 degrees protection against heat damage and it has a UV filter. Now that doesn't necessarily bother me, but I do want to look after what hair I do have left. Usually when you're blow drying your hair, your hair is obviously towel dried, um, so it is still slightly damp. So what I do is I brush my hair, run this across the whole of my head, brush it in again, and then blow dry. And then if there's any points that like need straightening or I feel like curling it after I've blow dried, I add another quick spritz just to try and help protect my hair. This one, I believe, is their full size bottle, but you can get little mini tester bottles, uh, which is one of the ones I started off with, but have since purchased the bigger version because I've loved it so much. My birthday was back in April, as I'm sure you guys are aware, and one of the presents I got from my work colleagues was the Yankee Candle Pink Sands uh, small jar. I've always been a Yankee Candle lover since I started my first job in Clinton Cards at 16, I've worked with Yankee, I worked hmm, at Clinton Cards, I worked with Yankee Candles there and I've loved them ever since. And one of the scents that I never really was as attracted to was the Pink Sands. I felt I wanted something that was really strong and really powerful, had bright colours. So one of my favourites is the Dragon Fruit one, which is like a really bright pink. But this was one of the presents that I got from my work colleagues and since having it I have fallen in love with the more subtle scent. Yankee Candle you can pretty much buy anywhere, I mean obviously you can get it from Clinton Cards. Some, some towns do have Yankee Candle standalone stalls, you can buy them online, you can buy them on Amazon, on eBay, on the Yankee Candle store website. So if you want a more subtle scent... I don't know what it reminds me of. I think it reminds me of like laundry detergent or like non-bio. No, do you remember back in the day you used to have that watermelon hubba bubba? That's what it reminds me of. There's definitely a hint of watermelon. But I just, I've fallen in love with it. I have started to burn it already, but since being in the new flat, I've tried not to burn more candles because I want them as decorative candles. Sticking on the pink theme here, I work opposite a body shop, which I've said many a time before, and I will be saying it in a couple of upcoming blog posts as well. But recently I went in there to purchase a couple of bits when they had a promotion on, and one of the things I picked up was the pink grapefruit body butter. The other two ones I picked up were strawberry and mango, but for some reason the pink grapefruit has been my favorite. So this one is called the Energizing Body Butter and I mainly use it on my arms because that's my problem areas as I'm sure you've seen in pictures in the past. But I just get a small amount on the tips of my fingers, rub it in between and just lather myself up. 
Also, freshly shaved legs, I tend to put it on there as well. And you guys know I have highly sensitive skin, so I can honestly recommend this to people who have sensitive skin because I have not had any issues. And it's the same with the other products as well. I haven't had any issues. When you smell them, they seem quite highly scented, but when you put them on your skin, you do get a small subtle scent, but it's not fragranced enough that it is going to affect your skin. One of the other things that I've been loving, which is something that I've loved forever, is Barry M Cosmetics. I'm gonna to struggle to hold these up now, but these are some of the glitters and confettis that I have from Barry M. Anytime I've painted my nails, I always used Barry M. I think occasionally I have one that is different, but the majority of my nail products are Barry M. Some of my favorites are the glitters and the confettis because I feel like per brush stroke, you get so much more glitter than you do with other companies. The one I am currently wearing on my nails at the moment is this one here, which is called Masquerade. I bought this the other day and I literally have put one coat on and it is brilliant. And one of the other ones I love are these two here, which are from the Barium Aquarium collection. So this one is called Mermaid and this one is Treasure Chest. So I highly recommend Barium if you are looking for a nail varnish that stays, that easily applies, that dries quickly, or you're just looking to try a different brand. Another thing with Barry M that I love is I don't really use their normal nail varnishes, I only use their jelly nail varnishes. I feel like you get more long lasting wear out of them and because I do try and grow my nails long, I do need slightly more product. Because I feel they are slightly more pigmented in my opinion, I feel like I get more use out of them than I would a normal nail paint. And the brushes as well, I really like the brushes, they're sort of slightly flat with a um, slightly domed head so I feel like I get a more even coverage than I would with like a normal nail brush. One thing to watch out for with Barry M is they do sometimes have limited edition collections. These are two of the examples that I got from Superdrug. Um, so one is called E and one is called F. Boots also have some limited edition ones. I think they tend to come out every couple of months, but I know that they've got some new ones in at the moment because I do have them somewhere. So keep an eye out for them because sometimes they are really amazing. Although these two are limited edition, they have to be some of my favorites. This one is a very fine confetti, so it's like almost little shards. And then this one is a very, very finely milled glitter. And again, I feel like per brush stroke, I'm getting more out of this than I would with a normal glitter. Soap and Glory is one of those brands that nearly everyone and their mother has heard of. Boots is one of the biggest sellers of Soap and Glory and one of my favourite products and one of my favourite products and one of the first products I actually bought from Soap and Glory is the Mist You Madly Body Spray. I think this is one of their originals that sort of carried on going through the ace. But if you are looking for a body spray that stays, and I mean stays, this has to be the one for you. They do other scents in this range. I believe one of the other ones is called Sugar Crush, and I believe there's a slightly citrusy one as well, but this one has to be my favorite. I find it's really feminine, and it just really makes me feel quite fresh. I know that's an odd thing for a body spray to do, but I feel like it just makes me feel fresh. <laughs> I don't know what other word to use. <laughs> For people who follow me on Twitter, they will have seen this product already, but this is the Makeup Revolution Highlighter Palette. Yes, it's filthy, but it is very well loved. We know I'm very, very pale, and I struggle to find anything that works with my skin tone. And I have a couple of the Makeup Revolution, like some of their other highlighter palettes, but this is one I have wanted or wanted to try for a long time. Um, it's just called Highlight, but these are the colours that it comes with. There we go, so you get like a whitey colour. This one here is a peach, and then this one here is a lilac. I will show you a close-up. But I find that this whitey gold colour is honestly one of my favourite highlighters. And it just doesn't wash me out, it just adds a small amount of highlight to me. One of the things I look for in a highlighter, as I'm sure everybody else does, is I don't want one that is full of glitter, and I really think 
this one takes all the boxes it has a shimmer but it doesn't have glitter it doesn't have like those chunky bits of glitter that sort of sit on your face makeup revolution is sold online at superdrug they have their own website and you can find them in most superdrug stores you can follow them on instagram you can follow them on twitter but they are one of those brands that people mistake for not having the quality that a higher brand would whereas honestly i would trust makeup revolution over some other brands that i've tried that just really don't hit the mark and the last thing i want to mention is a book that i've recently been loving and it's called we were on a break by lindsay kelk i recently not recently a few years ago i think it was back in 2014 I did a review on her I Heart series and when I heard that this was coming out I had to go and get it. One of the other books that I love by her is Always a Bridesmaid. So these two are like standalone books, they're not part of one of her series but honestly this one has to be one of my favourites. Something she did differently with this one is wrote from both a male and female perspective which I really enjoy reading. Um, and if you do too, I would recommend an author called Jodie Pickolt. But because Lindsay is one of my favourite authors, it's really light-hearted, it's not a difficult read. You can just sit there, put it down, pick it up and know where you left off. I had to go and pick this one up. And can I just say this, the pink against the turquoise is just gorgeous. I will be doing a blog post on this so keep an eye out for that because I want to talk more about it but I just had to mention it in my favourites because honestly it is one of my favourite things that I have got in the month of October. So that is it, that is all my favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you do like it and don't forget to check out my other social media and my blog. All the links will be down below for you. Um, if you enjoyed this then I will try and do some more. I don't usually go and buy new things very often because my priority is the flat but there's always things that I'm picking up that I'm loving or enjoying so let me know if you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video.